Um, I am interested in cinemas, but I get as much uh, enjoyment thinking about uh, the types of cinemas that, that have been in the past and are still around and the kinds of cinemas we might have in the future. Um, I'm going to use this talk to, to you to try and make an analogy between supermarkets and the way that uh, supermarkets have changed our, the way we shop. Um, so I'm going to try and encourage you to become sort of ethical consumers of film and, and even that we might create our own uh, cinema. So this is the, the forum on Lime Street. Lime Street itself used to boast about uh, no more than four cinemas in the 60s. This is a 1949 Liverpool listings magazine. You can see a whole host of cinemas all showing different films, and this is in the city centre alone, never mind the suburbs. You know, so what, what happened? Why do we have uh, so few? Well, of course, the introduction of TV and later the VHS the impacted on audiences, and then the model also changed. You know, the multiplex dominated the market in the same way that you might think of supermarkets, Austin, the small grocers. Um, these are the cinemas now in Liverpool, uh, Odeon, or oh, something out there. <laughs> Fact and Odeon in the middle, you'll probably know. So to use this analogy, I'm going to think of Odeon as uh, Tesco. Uh, it's very big, aggressively dominating the market, asking out the small people. Fact, a bit more left field, loyal customers, Maybe a bit snooty, Mark and Spencer. Mark and Spencer. <laughs> uh, this is the co op on the left here, the volunteer on Plaza. Over here we have the uh, suburban wealthy organic food store. This is Wilton's picture house. Both great cinemas shop there. Um, this was the old Odeon on London Road. That got demolished when we moved to Liverpool 1. The seats went to real cinemas. They, they set up in shop, uh, towns like uh, Witness and stuff. More recently, uh, Aldi. Um, so maybe we need to think a bit broader in terms of what we define a cinema as exactly. Um, it's not just a building necessarily, or is it? If we use that lens, then what kinds of cinemas, other places do we have in Liverpool? Well, these green markers are other kind of film events. We've got uh, Metal at Edge Hill, uh, the Philharmonic, uh, the Casimir, Wolstenholme Square, all running sort of semi-regular film events. Out here we had the CUC, that pink dot, that's gone. That actually had a cinema facility or a big screening space. Um, next to it you've got the camp furnace which has just got a big projector. What might that become? You know, um, that's got potential as it were. Liverpool Social Centre just up the road every Thursday and Sunday Steve High hosts a regular documentary uh, screening. You know, he's done, he's done it for a couple of years now really really good. So I'm going to encourage you, you know, can, can you, if you, you are, you are going to shop for your film, don't go to Odeon and pay over the odds, you know, go somewhere that at least feel a bit loyal to, somewhere that's either, you know, family run, community run, or is trying to do something a bit different. But I still think there's not enough choice. This is Berlin, the Listings magazine from a couple of weeks ago. Um, look at all the cinemas there, there must be over 50, and they're all showing on the whole, different films. Um, so I went to one, this is the Sputnik, um, they were built in 1984. They couldn't get seats, so they built them out of bricks. <laughs> the, the Germans, they have a different attitude to, towards small spaces. Obviously Berlin, you know, it's a big city and it's got this infrastructure of having a, a long-running festival. Um, but I think there's more inventiveness going on in what they deem a cinema. And as a result of that, that gives you more choice. This is the Lick Blick, uh, an activist cinema. Um, so the question is, this is called, can, can we create something like this in Liverpool? Can we have a bit more choice than Odeon or Fact, or maybe going out to Plaza or Walton? Um, and I, I, th I think we can. Um, there's an opportunity, as you've seen from the Berlin slides, it doesn't have to be big. It can be small, we can use a small space. Obviously, technology is changing. Cinemas, the, the big existing cinemas, aren't sure how that's going to impact on them. And the real issue is, if you don't do it, Tesco will. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this is the, the call to arms, as it were. Have a think about, let's create our own cinemas in Liverpool. Thank you.